Hey, Cappy, I'm starting your reading at 5.20 a.m. See what wants to come out. There's cards out. Okay. The lovers, yourself, the devil. This feels good. This feels strange because this isn't how Cappy Reed normally feels at the beginning. I got a comment, someone unsubscribed because I'm doing too many Cappy readings. But here I am. I just do what I feel called to do. I can't force it if it doesn't feel like it's, it's there. So this is what I'm feeling right now. Money and love, guys. Money and love. Feels like there's been some difficult choices. The lovers, the devil, the magician. Three major arcana. Four cards out. Other card three of pentacles. It feels like there's been some difficult decisions that you've had to make. Painful ending. It feels like you've completely shifted in terms of how your thought process is. Letting go of ways of thinking that no longer serve you. It feels like this has completely shifted your reality because of your, it's like a new perception. A higher level of awareness, 522, three of wands. Everything's an opportunity. Find the opportunity in things, three of wands, foundational factors. Something I'm up in the off Euclid reading about, uh, what was it? Yeah, this angel card. Um, his knowledge of the world serves as proof that life is only hard for those who do not know. How to make the most of the opportunities they are given. There's something about making the best out of all situations that energy of alchemy oh yeah the sun on the back of the deck as i say that the lanterns something's changing it's a beautiful energy coming in it's been difficult it feels that like it's meant you having to really face harsh truths about yourself go into the depth the depths of something having to be real honest with yourself about your own flaws, about your own shadow aspect. Taking accountability for the part you've played in your own suffering. That's how it feels. It feels like you're really sore to see those parts of yourself that make you feel uncomfortable, that make you feel... It's like maybe things that you judge in others, seeing certain tendencies in yourself, certain behaviors, certain thoughts, certain desires things that don't feel like maybe things that didn't feel true to you if it was like an acceptance of yourself on all levels higher self lower self completely removing some kind of shame unconditional love not seeing yourself as doing something wrong or as have done as of as have as having done something wrong but just that you did something at the best, as best you could have done it to the level that you knew at the time. Huge energy of forgiveness, forgiving yourself, shifting your perspective on the past. Hanged man, page of, page of um, swords, the hierophant, you, you couldn't have done what you didn't know. You, now you know better, you can do better. But it feels like you could have been hard on yourself for a long time. There's had to be some kind of patience. It feels like self-hurt could have been driving something. This is shifting. It's changing the energy of what's coming in. There's a lot of money coming in in the near future. The fall on the three of pentacles. How you see yourself, ace of cups. 
self-love looking after yourself nurturing yourself i see some video the other day and it was saying how yeah so, there's some new love coming in here or some kind of blossoming in love about how when you choose a partner that you can choose a partner from a place of pain like wanting a distraction wanting to get over something else wanting an adrenaline rush to escape some kind of pain wanting someone to soothe that pain or you can pick a partner from a place of pleasure like someone there to make you feel good maybe from that place of lust attraction only or you can pick a partner from a place of purpose and that's what this feels like. Judgment, Ace of Cups, King of Cups, Temperance, the Lovers, yourself, freeing yourself, cutting away the chains from the past, like past situations, freeing yourself from this, forgiving yourself for things that can't be changed, things that can't be undone. It was a, a huge energy of acceptance. There's been a lot that you've had to go through in order to get to this tower after tower after tower. It feels like major life event kind of towers or like, yeah, it could have just been like getting, getting on your feet, getting knocked back down. What's coming through is how like you break down muscle to build it. In the recovery process, it builds. It doesn't build when you're when you're working out, when you're breaking it down. It builds as you're recovering. Or how is it like in certain fighting? I don't even know if this is true, but it's coming through about um, how certain fighters will break down their knuckles or like punch something break down the fibers or the bone or something and rebuild it or to create something it's like breaking something down to rebuild it stronger it feels like you've been broken down and down and down and down and down and down and down but what that what is now being rebuilt is beyond what you can even fathom right now but there's something about that same thing about the muscle this is this is growing this is developing this is rebuilding there's not so much that you need to do you've already broken things down now it's a case of you resting creating space for yourself holding space for yourself holding yourself through some kind of shift it doesn't feel like it's an unpleasant shift but it feels like it's a slow shift. Um, it could feel tedious. What's coming through is like something that I, I'm battling with and I'm just like working on still is that thing of it's more comfortable to work hard for less or work hard for free than it is to work less for more like it doesn't feel comfortable it could be something like this and it might not be about receiving or money but it's like something that although it's pleasant or it should be pleasant that it feels unpleasant because of some kind of programming it feels like you've overcome this something's being rebuilt it's just really finding the adapting to this to peace adapting to yeah temperance adapting to a different energy feels like flow state what's this yeah something this, this relationship whatever this is There could have been an ending. Some of you have come out of something recently or 
come out of something some time ago, but the energy is still lingering. Something's not quite, um, like still processing, maybe processing a heartbreak, moving on from something. feels like this could have taken a long time to heal this, to feel back to yourself, to feel ready to date, to feel ready to put yourself out there or feel ready to, it's like still feeling attached to someone else, causing some kind of inner conflict. As much as, because some of you said, as much as you didn't realise it was just simply a decision to cut cords with this. It may have taken some time to register or to process. It could have been like a period of in denial or being in shock. That's how it feels, that something ended. Not being able to let something go except something. Maybe holding on to some kind of false hope, waiting for someone to change or waiting for somebody to, to re-establish something with you. There was a mismatch. It's like two different paths. It feels like two different levels of awareness. Something couldn't run together in sync. And you knew that. It's like maybe you knew something wasn't working, but you fought to make it work. Whatever this is, it's like a lesson of letting go, of, a lesson of trusting your intuition in the first place. Page of Wands, Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups, Four of Pentacles, the Higher Priestess, the Moon. This has helped things to balance out. It's like you won't make this same mistake again. Moving forward, there's communication coming in. Emperor, Knight of Swords, King of Swords, King of Cups, the Lovers. Empress, the Hermit, 533, roller coaster, Virgo, full moon, Hermit energy. Something's coming in quicker than you think, or the star, the, the Hierophant. I have to show you because you think I'm just saying it because, well, I even I'm like, what? The Wheel of Fortune. 5.33, ding, 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 what is going on? What is this? Death, the hanged man. It's like some of you could be really mad, feeling like you're stuck. And it's like you're mid-transformation, something is completely transforming. And it's like you could be really rushing to see this last chapter out, to close something out, to jump into something. It's like, yeah, it's here. But it feels that like in retrospect, you're going to be grateful that you had as long as you had in a certain season. Because it's like looking back at something, um, and I've said this before, like the good old days, that kind of energy. There's something that you needed to bask in for a minute before you ran off to something better. Because this isn't something you're going to go and come back to. This is a shift forever. That kind of energy. It feels like soulmate energy, strength. The Empress, the Emperor. Six of Wands. Some of you, it's like you could be feeling called to meditate. Don't ignore that. Maybe if you're struggling to just like tune in or it may not be a case that you are not in the mood to meditate, but you may just not be meditating to what you want to meditate to. Don't just find the first thing that you think you should be meditating to and, and, and stick with that. Maybe try different things. 
different voices different sounds maybe you like there's meditations where there's no words there's meditations with words guided meditations that take you on certain journeys um light language meditations tuning into different energies different elements Yeah, it's like find what works for you. Maybe it's something that doesn't even come under meditation, but it's meditative to you. Anything that can of course like getting into it, there's different frequencies that are gonna help in terms of shifting brainwave. But in terms of if you haven't meditated, you just and it's even some people it's a struggle just to sit down and relax, to rest. It's like slow down to speed up. Whatever you're doing, if you meditate 10 minutes beforehand, 5 minutes beforehand, it will change the quality of what you do. It feels like there's something here that needs your quality. It's not about how much something is. It's like let go a little. Let go of controlling something. It feels like you're being asked to slow down. Change your way of working enjoy something this something else is coming up about feeling worthy to receive it's like if you receive you could feel like you need to work extra hard like you could be feeling like you're receiving something too easily like you need to work harder to prove so 18 22 to prove that you're worth worthy of this It's like, be mindful of what your body wants to do once you receive something. Can you sit and receive it, sit and enjoy it, sit and celebrate it? Or do you feel anxious like you need to get up and start grinding, working, doing more? There's some kind of romantic adventure coming in and it feels like your energy is being shifted so you're prepared for this. But it may not make sense where you're at. But it's like just trust the unseen, trust the unknown, 1922. Happy news about your career promotions or scholarships, well thought out plans that go perfectly, needing a little push to get going. Studious, responsible, cheerful, mischievous. Reward yourself for your hard work, being happily and successfully self-employed, cherishing your time alone. Protect the fruits of your labours. Prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead. Environmental conservation. Listen to your heart. Intuitive insights that you can trust. Taking care of others perhaps too much. Loving, comforting, emotional and intuitive. Ask for help from others, all work and no play, being weighed down by too many responsibilities. It's time to go after your dreams, do something that expands your horizons, let your creativity take flight. 
creative, energetic, enthusiastic, optimistic. Open your heart to love. The beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one. The awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. Ace of Summer. The Empress number three. Time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. Spider and the fox, camouflage and opportunity. There could be an opportunity around the outskirts of your web. Be mindful there's not something staring you right in the face. Maybe you're waiting for something, waiting for a sign or waiting for somebody to, like some kind of resource. It's like you might just be, you might have everything you need. There's also something about something's not for show right now. Be mindful of not letting your wilder instincts spin out of control in some kind of aggression or letting some kind of aggression or frustration drive something. Be agile. Maybe stay low key, the fox, camouflage. Think how foxes move. Yeah, badger aggressiveness. First page it opened on five four four. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but just be mindful of how you use that. Badger is vicious and attacks with powerful aggression. Quick to express your feelings, do not care what the consequences are. Badger is the medicine of many powerful medicine women, for Badger is also the keeper of the medicine roots. Badger sees all the roots of Mother Earth's healing herbs hanging in its burrow home. These roots are a key to aggressive healing. Roots can ground negative energy into the earth by allowing illness to pass through a body into the ground as neutral energy. Badger medicine people are quick to act in crisis and they do not panic. Grounding, grounding would be great. Bare feet on the earth, naked body on the earth, wherever you want to do. Being with the elements, swimming in live water, connecting to, connecting to earth. Getting into that parasympathetic state. Connecting to the breath, slowing down. And like learning to be okay with that. It feels like that's the probably, like, that could be one of the key issues. Is wanting to do, to do more or to go faster when you're being asked to slow down. Badger medicine may also point to the aggressive healer who will have the courage to use unconventional means to exact a cure. Like the mother who sits for days nursing a child with high fever, Badger is willing to persist. Badger people can be vicious gossips or maybe exhibit a chip on the shoulder syndrome if out of balance. You can be sure that people with Badger medicine will be aggressive enough to make it to the tops of their chosen fields because they do not give up. They are also the finest healers because they will use any and all methods to ensure healing and will not give up on the critically ill. A badger person is often the boss and the one that everyone fears. That same boss will surely keep any company afloat. 
Badger gets the job accomplished. Badger's certainty is a source of strength. If Badger pushed its way into your cards, it may be telling you you have been too meek in trying to reach some goal. Be aggressive enough to do something about your present. What's coming through is like, be mindful of how how you're channeling that aggression. It can fuel you, it can fuel something, transmute that. Come back to your heart space. Or it feels like it could be detrimental. That thing of how uh, the best fighter is never angry. Because it blurs our vision. And be mindful of like seeking outside validation. It's something it's like something's just between you and God right now. That kind of energy. You and your guides. Things will be revealed when they when they need to be. You'll know when it's time to bring something to light. It doesn't mean that it's not that there needs to be some kind of pause on your evolution or what you're creating or what you're doing. It feels like something's in the works, something is being prepared behind the scenes in a way. There are certain energies that don't need to be all up in this right now. It's not punishment. Yeah, it's coming up. It wants to come up in reverse. The contrary aspect of spider is akin to the negative side of woman. Spider will eat her mate if she gets too caught up in herself to see the validity of honouring Mao energy. The warrior at her side is a strong balancing force. If you have become disdainful of your mate, male or female, you have felt very superior recently. You are not honouring either your male or feminine side. If you are not presently in a relationship, you may have chosen a member of your family or a workmate to harass. This type of negative criticism only breaks down relations and is a reflection of something you hate about yourself. If you are trying to feed your ego in this manner, you have lost the game. You are entangled in the web of your own illusion about who you really are. It may be time to look at why you are being critical and why you are feeling so weak that you must attack others. If this does not apply to your situation, take another look at the message that contrary spider brings. Lack of creativity. If you fail to use your talents to get the web spinning, your lack of creativity can change into destructiveness. If you are feeling stagnant and unable to move in a positive direction, you may come to resent others who are doing well. This resentment will become a black widow spider and eat you up. And the only one to mourn your demise will be you. Get moving, find joy and new ideas in the accomplishments of others and use them to propel you into a new phase of creative spinning on your own web of delight. Observe spider's web and find pleasure in the ideas you receive from her universal language. Page 210 to 11. What's coming up is a few different things there. Heartbreak could have been a past relationship that it feels like a lot of pain, a lot of emotional pain. It could have been back and forth over a long period of time. It feels like an accumulation, 552, something heavy. This could have created some kind of creativity block. Not being able to drop into the feminine, regardless of gender. Kind of putting your walls up, protecting yourself. 
something's coming through i see a video till swan about the feminine and masculine energy and how like the woman's like a pearl and the man's like a sh the shell And it's like a, like a safe space for the woman to just be, to to be vulnerable. Like how that pearl is protected by that shell. It feels like you could have become your own shell. learning how to ask for help that card that flew up over there about asking for help it was like healing the feminine that shadow s aspect of woman with a spider in reverse but it feels like a new version of yourself emerging and be kind to yourself with a fox it's like if you are feeling vulnerable like a little pearl floating about without a shell. <laughs> you don't need to let the world and its wife know that you're in that place, that you're making these transitions, that you're making these shifts, that you're making these changes, that you are feeling vulnerable right now. Like no one needs to know you took your shell down, that kind of thing. Keep what you need to keep to yourself as you move through these, as you shift until you ground yourself into these new energies. It feels like you're welcoming in new energies. Things are changing, things are shifting. There's a balancing out. People are going to be getting to know you again. It feels like it could be difficult if you let them get to know you again too early where you're kind of in between two versions of yourself 555 five, five. nine of wands spiritual warrior empress Moon in Aquarius. The time is right for celebrating life. Make the most of parties, gatherings and other social opportunities. Moon in Aries. Remain sensitive to others to avoid confrontation, the aggressiveness, the... Black Widow energy. Breathwork would be great right now. Embracing high levels of motivation and energy will bring feelings of empowerment and satisfaction. Somatic practices, getting into your body, jumping around, moving, exercise, dancing, whatever it is. Some kind of movement but it's like finding a balance because it feels like there's a different kind of movement it's not like oh i need to move let me run around and create to-do lists it's like going within tuning in getting into the body out of the mind Letting go, ecstatic dance would be great, that kind of thing. It's an auspicious time for new beginnings.
number 65, De Mavio. An extremely elevated spirit, he lives his life at a deep level and is generous and noble. He has enormous possibilities for success and financial help in his searches and expeditions. The useful discoveries he makes, which are very important to him, bring him renown. With his positive way of thinking, he could break any jinx. Planet the moon. Reasons for invoking to give us wisdom and success in business to protect us on sea voyages. Ruling hour from 9.20pm to 9.40pm. Page number 45. Some you just come up the oak tree, 6 a.m. Balance, slow down. Watching, oh, what is that guy's name? Some legendary guy, I can't remember what his name is. Um, anyway, he was saying about how quick pine grows compared to oak. And it's like no one's hunting down pine furniture, everyone wants oak. Don't be pine, wood, be oak. It's like something that takes longer, is stronger, is sturdier. It's values higher because of the time that something takes. I'm probably butchering this analogy, but this is kind of what it comes through. Oh, what is his name? I want to check, but it's on my phone. I'm literally filming on my phone, so I can't right now. Um, but yeah, there's something about the time that it's taken. There's, there's, you could have felt like things have really been delayed. Like you've missed out on something. But it's like, this has been preparation, not punishment. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way, a good person or company to work for. Compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, gifted. I'm going to leave it there. If this did resonate, like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys soon. Sending so much love.